Hey. My name is Impasta, and you have missed messages. Ah, I need to work. I'm so bored. I can't focus. What's this? Should I accept it? So cute. You're welcome. So, Pastel Princesses MacBook Pro, what are you up to? Existential crisis. Aw, I feel you. I hope I'm not distracting slash bothering you. Let me know if you ever want to have crisis together. I'm currently procrastinating on some work with makeup. Let's see the makeup. Thank you. You're sweet. Let's see the makeup. I'm sure you worked hard on it. Highly skilled. You seem cool. We should totally hang out sometime. Yeah, I'm down. Yeah, you're the sweetest. Swing by my room 206 sometime and let's hang out. Hells yeah. I'll see you later. Um... Later that night, I went out to meet Goth Girlfriend. Before I left, my roommate opened her door. You're leaving? When will you get back? Probably after 9. Oh. Why? Um, no reason. Okay. Bye then. Wait! Um, before the day ends, Happy birthday. You remembered? No one else remembered. I didn't even remember. Of course I remembered. Happy birthday to you. Happy she sang for me sweetly. Thank you. No, thank you for being my friend. What? Why are you telling me this? I just thought... Life is so short. Why not express my appreciation for the people I care about? In that case, you're also an amazing friend. Thanks for being my friend too. Aww. <laughs> I'll see you later. Goodbye. I met up with Goth Girlfriend. She told me her name. Amy. We laid out a blanket on the roof and started to study. Although we planned on working, we ended up getting lost in conversation. So you're into makeup? Hell yeah I am! God, can you imagine being so powerful you can transform into different people? Cause I can. God is a woman. Have you thought about being a makeup artist? You think I'm that talented? You're sweet. God, that'd be amazing. The competition is fierce though. I'll just stick with it as a hobby. That's fair. If you ever need someone to practice looks on, I volunteer as tribute. You're a beautiful canvas. I'll definitely take you up on that. The sky's gorgeous tonight. I know, right? I'm forever that girl that gets really excited when the sky is in pretty colors. What do you think of when you look at the sky? Nothing. For once... Only a feeling. Damn. Nothing? You know when your mind is constantly noisy? I look at the sky and I realize it's so much bigger than me. My problems mean nothing compared to it. My mind quiets. That's poetic. 
So how many strangers did you airdrop besides me? Everyone that showed up. <laughs> Maybe five? Did you meet all of them? Nah, only you. I'm the only one? You were also the only one to send something back. <laughs> Why did you reply? I don't know. Bored? Wanted to meet people? Meet people? Yeah, I have lots of friends, but I want more. Especially close ones. You don't have enough right now? Well, I used to have close friends, but we grew apart. I feel you. It's always sad when someone you shared close personal moments with grows distant. Yeah. It's left the void in my heart, you know? And I try to fill it by meeting new people, talking, dating, sleeping around. But no matter how many people I meet, I'm still lonely. Is that what you're doing right now? Trying to fill the void with me? Maybe. Yeah. Those friends who you can trust, anytime, anywhere, are the best. But there's gonna be times where you have none. During those times, I tried to improve myself and learn to love the version of me that is now alone. Huh? Learning to love yourself is hard. Yeah. Time flew. In a blink of an eye, night fell. It's getting late. Yeah. We should head back. This was fun. Text me. Or airdrop me. <laughs> Later. Okay? I had turned my phone off to save battery. On my way back home, I checked my phone. You're a great friend. It's not your fault. I'm scared. Hey, sweetie. How was your day? When I came back home, I felt cold. Nervous. But I didn't know... Why? I read the note. Don't come in. Call the police. Don't know what to do. Love me. Don't come in the room. Obviously I'm going in. The door felt heavier than usual. As I opened the door. I saw the body hanging. The smell. The sight. There was no blood, but I felt blood on my hands. I felt myself looking down on the scene. Myself, her, the police that eventually came, a disembodied feeling, and heard myself scream endlessly. My disembodied self watched me move and talk like an actor in the surreal circus I found myself in. I overheard strangers and friends alike talk. Did you hear what happened? No, what? Someone committed suicide. That's so sad. Who? Where? The second floor. You probably don't know her, May? No. But that sucks. Most pitied the way she went, but didn't miss her. But I remembered her smile, her laugh. The way she'd be kind in small ways, I couldn't forget her. When new people came into my life, I searched for her in them. I couldn't help it. I hoped she was still here. It was only during the funeral that the reality sunk in. At the funeral, I heard her singing, now sad and slow. Her singing when everyone else forgot, and her not being there anymore to remember. As I listened to her, my disembodied self crashed down to reality. The pain hit. This time, without the anesthesia of shock, this was real. She was dead. And we were putting her in the ground. No one saw it coming. Could I have? Was there a message I missed? A heavy blizzard stretched on for miles. In the distance, I saw a figure. May? It's not safe here. May, is that you? Come back. 
She just smiled, looking content amidst the dangerous hail. As if she was going somewhere better. As if she hadn't heard my voice lost in the blizzard. Don't go. Please, don't go. Alone. She disappeared into the snow. I missed my chance. I wake up in a cold sweat, fearful, but not sure why. What was that about? Never mind that. I should start working. My roommate's door. She used to keep it open. Now, it's usually closed. I remember that dream I had. This outfit must have cost less than $50. One of my friends paid $240 for a shirt. I can't relate. I do what I gotta do, then I go back. To let my crush know that I'm not just being nice when I say they're cute. So many books. There are literally pockets of Viet Cong in the back of my shelf that don't know the war is over. Some people have kids. Man, I have plants that are hard to kill. Diversity is beautiful. Tea is perfect on a day like this. Beautiful, quiet, calm. Ugh, I need to work. But I'm so bored, I can't focus. What's this? Should I accept it? I attempt to focus back on my work and succeed for some time. I begin to lose focus again. What even is a four-dimensional shape? 3.6 contour lines or divisions in the graph unit vector means magnitude is 1. Work. I do some work and start wondering when I'll ever have to use this in real life. Where is Bill Nye when I need him to answer my important questions? I think I'm all theorem. That's weird. I hear voices. Seems like they're coming from my roommate's room. The door of my roommate. May. I wonder if I should check up on her. I hesitated. Then knocked. For some reason, I feared what I might find. Hello? Yes? Um, shit, what should I say? Wanna hang out in my room? And do what? I don't know. Talk? But, I have work to do. Take a break. You always have work to do. You should take a break. Besides, we haven't hung out for a long time. I miss you. Aw, oh, I could use a break, to be honest. And I miss you too. Okay, hold on a sec. She went back into her room to get something. When she came back, we laid on my bed, looking out at the setting sun. So what are you holding? Oh, my pug. <laughs> I call him Potato. Aw, oh, he looks so well-loved. Yeah, he is... My dad gave him, me him. That's so sweet. Oh yeah, it's your birthday, right? <laughs> I forgot. You remember? Of course I did. Happy birthday to you. She sang me happy, happy birthday. Oh, thank you for remembering. As the years flew by, my birthday became like any other day. No one else had remembered it either. But she had. So how have you been? Fine. Just tired. 
big mood. How so? I don't know, like a bone deep tiredness day after day. What do you mean? Like every day I wake up, force myself to do something I don't like and go back to sleep. Sometimes I look outside my window and see a whole world out there. I feel the struggle of being stuck inside all day. Hmm. It's cliche, but why not do what you love? It's not that easy. If I knew what I love doing, I'd be doing it by now. But I don't know what I want to do. I'll help you. We'll figure this out. I'll try out every hobby and profession with you if that's what it takes. Thank you. Why are you so good to me? Because I'm worried about you, and I care about you. I want you to feel better. I had a weird dream. Oh? What? It was about you, actually. It was kind of haunting. Oh my god, I need to hear this. You were in a snowstorm? And I called for you, but you didn't hear me. And I lost you. Huh? What does it mean? I have no idea, but it stuck with me. Aw, I hope you're okay. I hope you're okay too, May. It's just a dream. Here, if you're still scared by bedtime, I'll tell you a bedtime story, okay? Oh yeah, bedtime stories. What are your dreams like? Oh, disturbing. Someone always dies. Like, my most recent one. It featured you, actually. In a bad or good way? Good. Go on. <laughs> there was a massive epidemic. It was gonna wipe out the world. I got infected. I was gonna die. Then you discovered the cure, and I was saved. Wow. That's scary. I always knew I was gonna save the world. Yeah. Jimmy really saved me. This is relaxing, but I'm also getting tired. <laughs> really? I'm wide awake. I think I'm just tired in general. How so? Do you ever feel like every day is the same day? Kind of. It's a satisfying sort of monotony. A day where I stay inside, windows open, with tea, and a book is the good shit. Oh. Do you not feel the same? I don't know. I feel like I wake up, do things I don't enjoy, go to sleep, and do it all over again. Do you think you're depressed? Um... Maybe. I took antidepressants a long time ago, but felt like they didn't work. That sucks. Maybe it's the type of antidepressant. Maybe you need to try a different one. Uh, don't take my advice. Actually, I know nothing. <laughs> Me neither. Not just about this, but in general. I feel you. Has it gotten better? The tiredness? Not really. By now, I kind of just want to die. Are you suicidal? Um. Oh my god. Sorry, was that too blunt? Feel free not to answer. No, you're good. Yeah, I think about it sometimes. I feel like we all do, though. I imagine how it'll go down, how it'll look, smell, the aftermath, whether anyone would care that I was gone, not just about how I went. Do you think about it seriously? Um, I'd rather not say. Sometimes I think about it. 
Then I'm stopped by the thought of the pain I'll cause others. I feel like when you've reached the point of seriously considering suicide, not just fantasizing about it, you don't really give a shit about anything other than your death. That could just be me, though. Um. We talk more about everything and nothing. From TV shows and memes to our worst fears and biggest desires. Before we knew it, evening dawned. I gotta go. I have work. Yeah. Good luck. I'm always down to hang. Again. Yay. Thank you for listening to me. It really means a lot. Although I also had work, I didn't regret talking with May one bit. She left her door cracked open. May's door is open. I wonder where she is. I opened the door to my roommate, May. She didn't seem to hear or see me. Hey. Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? I... Are you really okay? You don't look okay. I- I need to go. Wait, don't go. Can I hug you? She nodded silently. I hugged her. I wanted to say something, but didn't want to break the silence. After a pause, she spoke. Thank you. I- uh, I guess I'm not okay. I just say I'm okay because it's a gut reaction. I don't really feel okay, but I don't want to bother anyone. Especially you. You're so kind. I made soothing motions on her back. Why are you sad? I don't know. I... I don't really want to talk right now. It's okay. I'm here for you. I'm not a professional or anything, but when you need to talk, I'll always listen. Thank you. Again. Is there anything I can do? Hug. Just hug. It's been months since that day. Anne and I have gotten closer. I'd even consider her a best friend. In dark moments, we held each other's hands. Although I supported her, I didn't want to feel responsible for her. I didn't want her to be dependent on me. So we drove to every therapist in town until we found one she liked. One night, May hugged me by surprise. May? Thank you. Me? For what? What for? I, um... I don't know how to say this without seeming emotionally constipated. Thanks for caring about me. For listening to me. I couldn't tell you before I was sad, but I appreciate you. Really. Huh? Well, anytime. Thank you, too, for being my friend. You teach me to be more kind. Oh my god, no, you! No, you, Uno Reverse! Later that night, she gave me a note, both haunting and touching. It read, I was buried in the blizzard. The snow pelted powerful and unpredictable, never ending. I weakly cried for help and no one came. My voice lost in the snow. But you saw my messages. You grabbed a shovel, helped, and I could finally open my door. There's something to look forward to, after all. Thanks for playing. By Angela He, inspired by real life. Evan and Junji Ito. <laughs>